Tracer is a highly mobile backline harasser who can be an absolute nuisance to any team. Blinking behind the enemy line and picking off small targets, Tracer is one of the more frustrating heroes to play against, and for that reason, she's one of the more fun heroes to play. How's it going everybody, Force here, and today I'm going to provide you with a guide on how to play Tracer. We're going to talk about her strengths and her weaknesses, discuss her various matchups, and I want to give you some just general tips and hints on that, how to be good with this hero, and how to be the Tracer that every Mercy fears. So without further ado, let us jump into the Ultimate Tracer Guide. Why is it the Ultimate Guide? I don't know. I gotta do something to set myself apart from the rest of these fools putting up guide videos. Besides, Ultimate sounds important, you know? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start off by talking about her weapon and her various abilities, beginning with the Pulse Pistols. These have a widespread and a high rate of fire. You unload a clip in a single second, you reload in another second. Now, each clip holds 40 rounds that deal 6 damage each, allowing for 240 total potential damage. If you get headshots, that is double that damage. Now, the thing with the Pulse Pistols, though, is that they're most effective within a couple of meters, because if you get beyond that, their damage drop-off is incredibly significant. So the closer you are, the, the more damage you're gonna deal, but you're also in a hairier situation at that distance, and we'll, we'll talk about that and positioning as we move forward. Let's move forward to our next ability, which is Blink, an ability that allows you to move forward, or left or right or backwards, in 7 meters in any horizontal direction. The only directions that Blink can't be used are upward and downward. However, Blink can be used to cross large distances without ever touching the ground, basically meaning that if you get up high enough, you can go across across huge gaps that you wouldn't otherwise have access to. Now Blink has three charges and it will restore a charge every three seconds. Her second ability is Recall, which allows you to rewind in time three seconds. What this will do is basically put you in that exact position that you were three seconds ago, resetting your health and ammo to whatever they were at that point in time. Recall will also remove debuffs such as Zenyatta's Discord Orb. And finally we have her ultimate Pulse Bomb, a sticky bomb that detonates after two seconds, dealing 400 total damage, enough to kill most heroes in the game, with the exception of a few of the tanks. It's also worth noting that Pulse Bomb does area damage in a small radius, allowing you, if they're close enough, to take out multiple heroes at once. So those are her abilities, and that's her weapon. Let's talk about her strengths and weaknesses. Her strengths should be obvious. She is incredibly mobile, and at close distance, can deal a ton of damage. Between 240 and 480, if you include headshot damage to be exact. That's enough to kill a majority of heroes in this game before a single reload. On top of that, she's very hard to hit. Having three charges of blink that recharge once every three seconds, plus her recall ability, a good tracer will be running circles around you all day. All of this makes her a fantastic harasser. Your goal is to get behind the enemy line and try to kill those key targets, the supports like Mercy and Zenyatta, or those snipers like Widowmaker and Hanzo. These targets that have pretty small health pools, these are the ones that you're gunning for. Now let's talk about her weaknesses. She herself also has a small health pool, with 150 health being matched only by Zenyatta for the smallest and weakest characters in the game. She's vulnerable to large burst and splash damage. You've got to worry about Pharah. You've got to worry about Junkrat. Anything that limits her mobility is also going to be a problem, like McCree's Flash, Junkrat's Trap, and Roadhog's hook. She has that high damage fall off that we mentioned before from her pulse pistols requiring you to get close, but when you're close, you're in a dangerous situation, so positioning and distance becomes a very key thing to keep an eye on. And then her last weakness is that she's self-reliant. You're gonna spend most of your time away from your team. This is going to require you to make good use of your recall ability to restore your health and ammo, and always know where those health packs are, because chances are your healer isn't going to be anywhere close. Let's talk about some of her favorable and unfavorable matchups. Generally speaking, barring player skill, she should be good against Mercy, Zenyatta, Widowmaker, Hanzo, Bastion, and Torbjorn. She's also good against Reinhardt as long as you stay away from his hammer. Who she's bad against is Farah, Soldier 76, and any of these heroes if they get up close, like McCree, Reaper, Roadhog, and Winston. And with that, we'll move on to the basic tips. The first tip is positioning. You want to be close enough to maximize your damage, but far enough away to survive. 
The number one most important thing is surviving. So as long as you slowly play with that distance and test out how close you can get to enemy heroes to do as much damage as possible, but avoid them having an easy time of killing you. The second tip is to learn to reload while blinking. Tracer is capable of blinking without interrupting her reload animation. So that's what you should do. You should maximize your DPS time by using that time that it takes to actually perform a blink to also perform your reload and continue to harass as soon as that finishes. The next tip is to go into combat with two to three blinks. You need to always be saving these up when you think an encounter is about to occur. The worst thing in the world that can happen to you is for you to get into combat and have one or no blinks remaining. And then the final tip I want to give you guys is to learn and play around with the pulse bomb throw. It's got a short range underhand toss and it doesn't go very far. So really figure out the distance. The easiest way you can guarantee to hit this is to get up right on top of the target, but that's not entirely necessary. She tosses it a couple of meters. So play around with this and, and learn to get comfortable with it because the more comfortable you are, the more kills you're gonna rack up landing it. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for me here today. Hope you enjoyed this ultimate tracer guide. In the hands of a good player, tracer can be one of the most annoying and devastating heroes in the game, capable of getting behind those enemy lines, taking out those snipers, those encamped turrets, that bastion, and harassing any of the supports. Learn how to play her properly. You're gonna be carrying some of your games. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me here today. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this guide. I wanna know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you like the video? Did you enjoy the format? What do you think about it? Criticism, constructive or otherwise, is always welcome. Thanks, y'all, so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic afternoon, and until next time, I'll see you later.